Warriors, <laughs> welcome to the quarantine and um, story of the day. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I get really overwhelmed with life, um, everything has the same amount of stress and intensity to it. And it's really hard for me to differentiate the different stresses that I'm under. And so, you know, like this week has um, understandably so been pretty stressful and intense. And um, I'm also in the process of planning my best friend's 40th birthday party, which is not this Friday, but next Friday. And um, this, 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 my best friend is pretty fucking special. I mean, she is, she is one of the truly most amazing magical creatures on this planet. And she is loved by everybody that comes in contact with her. And she's a high school teacher, a theater teacher. So, I mean, her kids just adore her. And um, anyway, her brother, her other best friend and I are, are planning this, anything that we can do for this 40th birthday party. So we sent out this PDF to anybody who's ever like known Margaret in their life saying, send, send a letter, a, a card or a little gift, whatever to me, because I have like the easiest apartment to like get stuff at. And then on next Friday, we're gonna deliver all this stuff to her house. We're gonna kick her out, decorate her house, bring all this stuff in there and just celebrate her in the best way that we can right now. Well, there's a lot of people that maybe didn't read the PDF very well, and so they thought that the deadline for gifts was like yesterday. And it was like, that's when we said, mail it out. Just mail it out by yesterday so that I can get it by you know, two Fridays from now. So I'm dealing with all this stuff and I'm getting calls from people that I don't know and they're like, how do we get this to you and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like freaking out. And, and instead of just like settling down and taking the moment as it is, I'm, I'm treating it as everything else in my life right now, which is like you know, 11, you know? And so um, I call her Uncle Kit, who is having trouble figuring out what to get Margaret because he wants to you know, go big and buy her like 40 dozen roses or whatever the, I don't know, what, what he wants to do. Not realizing that that's really expensive, you know? And I'm just like, I, I, and then I was like, all of a sudden I was like, this is about Margaret and this is about celebrating somebody so special. Let's get those dopamines going, right? Let's get that, like, let's, let's find the positive in this situation that, uh, like, at the moment, I was just finding the stress, and I was just like, not one more thing, you know? And it was like, it, and, then, and then I started taking these people's calls and stuff that were, this, they had the same miscommunication that they didn't get, and I was like, no, no. And then, like, everybody was talking about how much they love Margaret to me, and it was like, this, this is the moment, this is the moment, you know? So that's the story of the day is just, is just figuring out the thing and, and not letting it get bigger than it needs to be basically, you know? And then just kind of riding, riding the wave, right? <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna do our jumping jacks. I'm gonna count the first five. I got all my stuff on, yep, got all my stuff on. And you're gonna count the second five, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Hopefully you guys at home have mats. We're going to do a bunch of mobility this morning. Gosh, I'm already parched. Wow. So last night, it was only 93 degrees in here. The night before, it was 96. So kudos to those warriors putting up with that. Ooh. Cossack stretch, guys. Cossack stretch. Oop. My chair is in the camera. Move that out of the way. There we go. All right, rocking back and forth. Woo, getting that nice little stretch in those wrists and in that groin 10 times. Switching it out to the other side. Yeah, it does feel good, right? This is like one of my favorites. It's so simple, but it's just like, and I like that it's so gentle, you know? Let's go back to the original side, guys, and we're gonna do leg lifts. So go ahead and give me five leg lifts. And then give me five leg lifts on the other side. All right, then we're gonna go into our shin boxes. So what I wanna do is have my knee touching my foot, my, my shin is right in front of me, then I'm gonna bring my feet down to the ground and then I'm gonna to transition to the other side. So basically my feet don't move the entire time. They just stay in position and then my hips are rotating. So go ahead and give me five on each side. Now, if you can do this with your arms raised, fantastic. But if you can't, then go ahead and put your hands behind your back to keep your chest straight. Okay, after you've done five on each side, then what I want you to do is point that belly button over that knee, and then I just want you to lean into it. So I'm not curving my back, I'm not arching my back, I'm keeping my back really flat, and you're gonna get a really nice stretch in that hip and in that glute. You might feel it in other places. Give me a couple breaths and then transition it to the other side. Again, pointing that belly button over that knee, Go ahead and give me two on each side. Oh man, feeling that this morning. Wow. All right, after you've given me two on each side, we're gonna go back into our quadruped position and we're gonna do hip circles. So knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. I'm keeping my leg in that right angle the entire time. Let's go five times in that direction and then we're gonna reverse it, bringing it out to back, to side, to front. Then the other leg. Woo! Okay, reversing it, keeping that leg at that right angle. Trying to keep that hip down. We're not really lifting that hip. And then we're doing fire hydrants on the right. Five. And then five on the left, keeping that hip down. Great job, warriors. All right. We're going into our high kneeling position. Thumbs pointed at the ceiling, arms locked out, 
Head comes down to chest, bringing my head to the side, to the back, to the side, and front. I'm making five really big neck circles. That direction, and then I'm going to turn it the other direction. So guys, I made the mistake the other night of, of asking the class if they wanted to do seven-way hips or an ab finisher. And one of my most quiet warriors was like, I hate seven-way hips. And it was so funny because he was like, my hips only move two ways, not seven ways. <laughs> and then, then we went through the class and we were, we were talking about what's your least favorite exercise <laughs> that you've done in here. And we all, we all voted. Um, Sit-outs got, got a lot of votes. Sit-outs was, was high, high on the list. You know sit-outs? That, 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 that wrestling move that we do? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And then bring your wrist circles the other way. Ah, nice. All right, guys, frog stretch. Knees come out to side. I have my feet coming directly off my knees. I'm coming down onto my forearms and I'm gonna push back and I'm gonna squeeze the earth together with my knees for five, four, three, two, one. I want you to release it. Maybe get a little bit deeper of a stretch. Push back into it and squeeze those knees for five, four, three, two, one. One more time, release, rock forward. Come back in and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Now, we're gonna go into our pigeon stretch. So I'm in this high plank. I'm bringing my knee in between my hands. I'm keeping that back leg straight and trying to keep that knee off the ground if I can. If I can't, you can always put the knee down. But now I wanna get this really nice stretch, so I wanna take this hip, that's, I'm sorry, the, the other hip, the hip that's over the foot, and turn it down. So like, I'm getting my hips to flatten out. And I want you to breathe into this. You can always go onto your forearms, Reba, that's fine. Yeah, guys, if this hurts your wrists, go to your forearms, it's fine. Breathing in, I want deep belly breaths, not shallow chest breaths, deep belly breaths with this, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me three, and then we're gonna switch it out to the other side. Knee through my hands, getting that back leg straight, bringing this hip down. Big belly breaths in. You feel that one? Yeah. And out. In and out. Woo! All right. Now, we're going to come into our high kneeling position again. I want you to reach your hands out towards me. You're going to reach out of those shoulder blades. You're going to bring your shoulder blades down to your hips. I want you to squeeze them at the back and then come up to your ears. So that's a, that's a shoulder circle in that direction. Up to my ears, out, down to my hips, and squeeze the shoulders at the back. Go ahead and give me five that direction. And then you're gonna give me five in the other direction. Oh. This is a really interesting one to try to isolate those shoulders, you know? It's like, what? What are my shoulder blades doing right now? All right. Going back into our quadruped position, cat cows. We're going into our cat cows. So I want to lead with my tailbone, going through each vertebrae as I feel this string pull through my thoracic spine to the ceiling, bringing my head down, and then going the opposite direction, starting with my tailbone, Ending with my head, getting that nice arch. Taking it back the other way. Go ahead and give me five cats, five cows. <sighs> nice job, warriors. Feeling, feeling that stretch. All right. So next, since we're still on the ground, we're gonna go into our side-lying archers. 
Yay! <laughs> Jasmine is a fan of the side-lying archer. I want to have my knees stacked. Ben, I have my hands together. I'm going to draw my arm across my chest, reach out to the back wall, come back in. Do that five times on that side. Wow. Trying to get that shoulder that you're reaching with as close to the ground as possible. Oh, your bug? Oh, no. <laughs> do, you, do you need a tissue or something? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Five on that side, then take it to the other side. Reaching, following that hand with your eyes. Keeping those knees stacked. And then we're gonna stay in this position because now we're gonna go into our bretzel. So for my bretzel, I am going to take my top arm and grab my bottom leg. I grab my mic's out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to take my top leg and my bottom arm. And I'm going to pull this leg back and pull this knee into my chest. And then I'm going to look behind me. I want to look over that shoulder, trying to get that shoulder to the ground and keeping tension on my legs, the pulling motion, right? So I'm pulling back with my bottom leg. I'm pulling up like towards my chest with my top leg. Breathe into it for three, three big breaths. Yeah, so look behind you, Jasmine. That way, yeah. I have to look at you to find what I'm to. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you're there. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna take it to the other side. So again, top, leg, bottom arm, top arm, bottom leg. And then I'm looking over that shoulder, the higher shoulder. As I pull, get tension on both those legs. Three big breaths in. Nice. Woo. All right, let's stand it up. Okay, now we're gonna go into our alphabet. This is one of my favorites. Our I's, our T's, our W's, and our Y's. We're gonna start with our eyes. So I'm gonna come into this hinge position, pulling that butt to that back wall, feeling my tension in my hamstrings, bringing my arms right next to my ears, and then coming into this like ski jumper position. Yep. Go ahead and give me five of those. <sighs> Nice. Next, we're going to go into our W's. So what I want to do is get my forearms together, my hands together. My hands are right at my face so that when I bend over and I bring my hands out, they're in line with my shoulders. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades at the back. So give me a pause at the top with this. Give me five. Nice. Now I'm going to do my Y's. So for my Y's, still in that hinge position, my arms are at a 45 degree angle. Then I'm touching my knees. Arms to a 45, keeping that back as flat as possible. Try not to curve that back. It's so funny because like, like this like just body weight movement is so intense, especially when you, when you um, up the reps with it. This is such a nice like homework snack um, uh, or workout snack when like if you just need to get up and do something, just do these letters. Now we're going to do our T's guys. So my hands are going to come right out to the side and back down, squeezing again those shoulder blades coming back down. Give me five of those. All right, now we're going to warm up our squats. 
So I want to get kind of wide with this squat. I'm going to come down. I'm going to grab my toes. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate. And then I'm going to bring my chin to my chest and lengthen those legs. Get this little pause here for that nice hamstring stretch. And then come back down. Rotate. Rotate. Now I want you to try to get deeper in this, in this squat than I usually ask you to do. I want you to almost like sit into it. Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? Chin to chest. Five of these guys. All right. Our bodies are feeling pretty warmed up right now. We're gonna do one more thing and we're gonna do that walk around. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come into this deep, deep lunge to the side. I'm gonna come out into this high plank. My butt is at the same level as my shoulders. I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna rotate. Then I'm gonna go the other way. Rotate. Go ahead. It give me three on each side. Getting those, the upper body and our lower body warmed up with this. All right. So we have a collection of tools this morning. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can always do your swings and everything else with a dumbbell, that's not a problem. But let's grab some water. What am I drinking? This is a recovery drink. So it has like creatine stuff in it and a little bit of caffeine, just a little bit. Is it fizzy? Slightly fizzy, just slightly, yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna do a heptathlon. So that means we're gonna be doing seven uh, reps of every single exercise that we're doing and we're gonna do four sets this first set that we're gonna do We're gonna do together and that's gonna be our warm-up set. So it's not gonna count We're gonna start with our kettlebell if you have a kettlebell and then we're gonna go into our dumbbell exercises So for my kettlebell We're gonna start with seven front squats. So grab your kettlebell Widen out your feet a little bit hold your kettlebell at chest height and then come down into your squat and give me seven of those Trying to make sure we're hitting depth with this. All right, then we're gonna have seven bent rows. So I'm gonna narrow up my feet, and then I'm gonna come over into my hinge position, and I'm gonna bring my kettlebell to my chest, extend down to my chest, but I'm staying in my lats the entire time. All right, go ahead and give me seven of those. All right, then I have my, dead, my, uh, my um, deadlift to high pull. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our deadlift. So my kettlebell is lined up with my shoelaces. I'm gonna come up into this upright row and back down again. I want to fully place that kettlebell on the ground and then I'm gonna really use those legs to help me get this kettlebell up. Give me seven of those. Getting that nice setup. So we're not rushing this today. And then we're gonna be doing our kettlebell swings. So guys, always, always, always hike that kettlebell forward first. Then you're coming back. Your hips are locking out and that's what's propelling the kettlebell up. And then my lats are pushing it down as soon as it comes to shoulder height. You're doing seven of those. Nice, Heather. All right, so that's it for the kettlebells. Now we're gonna go to our dumbbells. And we're gonna grab either one or two of our dumbbells and we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. My elbows are in tight to my head. 
I have my, my rib cage is tucked in. Don't let that rib cage extend out. And then go ahead and give me, give me seven of these. Nice, seven of those. Then I have my curls. It's your choice if you wanna go ahead and do a regular curl this way, or if you wanna do a hammer curl, just depending on how it feels on your elbow. Seven of those. Seven. All right, then I have my lateral raises. So if you have lighter dumbbells, I would grab those. We're standing upright. My feet are a little bit narrow, coming out to the side. My elbows are just slightly bent. Seven of those. All right, so if you don't have a kettlebell, you're gonna do your swings by just putting hand over hand on the dumbbell, coming back, coming up. It's the same exact thing. It's all in your hips, in your lats, not in your arms, all right? So the first part of this circuit is the kettlebells. The second part of the circuit are the dumbbells, but that's all of the exercises in this circuit, all right? So let's grab some water. If you need to adjust your weights, <laughs> it's a good time. All right. So we're gonna go, you're gonna go at your own pace. Since we have a variety of sizes and weights, this is not speed strength today, okay? We're doing a different thing instead of speed strength. So you're gonna go at your own pace. I would prefer that you take it in a slower pace just to get as much out of each movement as possible but slow is up to you and how you feel okay just don't go slow with those kettlebell swings or um, yeah like really power with those kettlebell swings right because otherwise you're muscling them so we're going to start with our front squats all right getting into position locking out that those glutes filling that belly full of air and trying to get those elbows on the insides of your knees seven Seven, nice. Then I have my bent rows. So I like to hold my kettlebell like, like flat like this, bringing that butt to that back wall, feeling those hamstrings and squeezing those shoulder blades. Six, seven. All right. Then I have my deadlift to high pull. So I'm in my deadlift position. Again, my butt is back, coming up into my upright row. Seven, nice. Then I have my swings. Hiking the kettlebell forward always. Coming up, locking out those hips, boom. As soon as I come shoulder height, I'm pushing down. Like I'm closing a big heavy door. All right, next I have my overhead tricep extensions. Yep. <laughs> Elbows in close, full extension. Seven, nice. And then I have my curls. Locking out those glutes, keeping that rib cage tucked again. All right. Then I have my lateral raises with my lighter weight if possible. If you don't have a light enough weight, lateral raises are excellent to do with just your arms. Body weight is more than enough, all right? So, take about 30 seconds of rest before you start again. 
We're just going to take a brief, brief rest period. Where's my timer? Looking for my timer, as always. <laughs> All right, and then we're going again. So I got my front squats. Now, if you're super gassed, you can take a longer rest. If you're watching this later, you can pause this. But otherwise, we're still trying to get our nervous system, our cardiovascular system taxed. All right, then I got my bent rows. Really, really squeeze those shoulder blades, guys. All right, then I have my deadlift to high pull. Getting set up. Making sure to get that full placement of that kettlebell on the ground and then get set up again. Going into my swings. Get set up, get my feet in the right place. Coming back. And always finish the way that I started. Six, seven, woo! Going into my overhead tricep extension again. Rib cage is down. Feet are more narrow. Full extension of those arms. If you're at home and you're in air conditioning, we are all very jealous of you right now. It's about 77 degrees in here. All right, then we got our curls. Got my curls. And then for my curls, I have my lateral raises. Always with those curls, we're not rocking the body, we're staying, keeping that pillar really strong. Just coming to shoulder height, you should be able to see your dumbbells in your periphery. So it's not like, it's not straight out to the side. I want it slightly in front of you with arms bent. All right, getting about 30 seconds of rest, getting water. Super important to hydrate, especially when you're in a warm environment like we are right now. The, the RDL banded RDLs? You're feeling them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? How, did you get the 60? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. The, the banded RDLs are definitely the thing with that, that workout that you can get the 60 with. <sighs> are you a two day sore or a one day sore? Like, do you get sore two days after or one day after? Yeah. Bent rows. Six, seven. All right. Deadlift to high pull. Lock out those glutes at the top. And then my swings. Six, seven. Overhead tricep extension. It's really easy to have those elbows 
kind of apart from your head. I want you to keep them in tight so you're really, really working those triceps. Then I have my curls. Is this your last set, Jasmine? Last set. Last set. There you go. All of us, we're still on three. That's okay. Then I have my lateral raises. Six and seven. All right. Taking about 30 seconds of rest. And then we'll do our last set. Nice, Jazz. Woo! The heat really adds something, something special. A little, little spice to our workout. Woo! Times like this when I wish I owned some Capri uh, workout pants, but I just don't want to blind you guys with my blue-white legs. All right, guys, this is it. <laughs> it's good for your abs. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. It's times like this where I'm regretting my kettlebell weight. <laughs> and then my bent rows. Then I have my deadlift to high pull. Good job, Heather, switching it out with your dumbbells. Getting into that hinge. We're not squatting, we're hinging. That is less knee bend than a squat. Getting that butt pulled to that back wall. All right, then I have my swings. Swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our last set. It is our best set. Then we have our overhead tricep extensions. <laughs> Reba, you have two more sets. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's a thing. <laughs> All right, then I got my curls. I do the hammer curls. It's a lot easier on my elbows. Seven, then my lateral raises. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. All right, guys. If your garage sale of equipment is in your way, move it out of the way we're going to go back to our mats we're going to do a core finisher with planks everybody's favorite yay, yay. but we're going to do this in a tabata style all right so we're going to do 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest we're going to do four plank exercises two times through so that's going to be equal to four minutes of planks all right Yay. Yay! I like your enthusiasms. <laughs> so, if at any point you're super gassed with this because the planks are really, really difficult, go ahead and just rest for a second and then just join back in, all right? Maybe just try not to rest on the side planks because you don't want to like do one side and then not the other, right? But I'll go through it here in a second. All right, so 
Let me get my liquids out of the way. So what we're gonna do is a regular plank. So for your plank, guys, really try hard not to cheat yourself with this plank. I want you to keep your body like so, so super iso hold on. And what you're thinking about is you're thinking about bringing your, your, your elbows, pulling them into your feet and your feet into your elbows. So that makes this constant tension throughout your whole body. And you're really gonna feel it in your abs and your obliques. And I really want you to work hard on trying to keep that butt to be the same level as your shoulders. Don't A-frame it. Don't get that butt up in the air, right? You don't want this and you don't wanna be pushed back on those shoulders. You wanna be here, all right? And then I'm, I have like my body is in constant tension, pulling my elbows to my feet and my feet to my elbows. We're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go into our side plank. So for my side plank, I really wanna make sure that my body is in line. So my, my uh, feet with my knees, with my hips, with my shoulders, with my head. I'm here. Now, I'm trying to bring my hips up as high as I possibly can to the ceiling. Now, I can put my hand here. I can put my hand here. I can grab a dumbbell if I want to make it harder. But I want to keep that shoulder over that, over that elbow, okay? I don't want to push either way with this. So then we're going to do 20 seconds on the one side, 20 seconds on the other. If it's hard for you to stack your feet and stay stable, put one foot in front of the other, just keeping that line, alignment still going, okay? So then we'll flip over, we'll do the other side. And then we're gonna do plank shoulder taps. So for the plank shoulder taps, I'm in a high plank this time. My feet are wide for stability. My shoulders are still over my wrists and I'm touching and I'm touching, all right? And I'm going slow with that. I wanna go slow and controlled. I do not want to rock my hips with this and I wanna keep my hips at the same height as my shoulders, all right? So, Again, this is gonna be a Tabata. So we're gonna work for 20 seconds, rest, transition for 10, and then we're just gonna go through this two times through. So that's four exercises, two times through, all right? So Tabata clock, all right? We're starting with just our normal strict planks in three, two, one, go. Feet together, there we go. Everything's on, everything's on. If I came over and stood next to you and tried to push you over, you would not let me push you over. All right, we got three seconds left. And we are switching into our side plank. Okay, we got three seconds before we go up. Everything's in line. Keeping that head back or in line with your shoulders. You got this, Jasmine. You got the eye of the tiger, girl. Woo! Ah! Four, three, two, one, down. Switching over to the other side, the other side plank. Getting slippery, yeah. Got that elbow sweat going on. That's uh, my favorite. And we're up. Try to keep those hips from falling down. Keep those hips pulled up to the ceiling. All right, we got seven seconds left. Everybody's got this. Three, two, one, down. Now we're going into our high plank for our shoulder taps. High plank, so I want your feet spread for stability. And here we go. But take it slow, because I want you to be really controlled with this and I don't want your body rocking. Butt down, Reba. Ah, there we go. Ha. Ah. Okay, three seconds. You got this, you got this. All right, we're going right back into our strict plank. 10 seconds of rest, that's it. We're starting again. Three, two, one, go. You're up. Everything's on, everything's tense. Except for your face, relax your face. <laughs> Always relax your face. You should feel on fire. Three, two, one, nice. Side plank. Woo! All right, we're going up. Now. 
<laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, if you're gassed, take a break. Just don't be uneven. Three, two, one, down. Switching it out. Going back up. Two, one, here we go. Really trying hard to make sure that this shoulder is over that elbow. My hips are as high as I possibly can get them. Three, two, one, down. High plank, high plank for shoulder taps. Widen those feet. And we're going. Tap it out. Keeping those hips as stable as possible. Try not to rush this. You're not gonna get through it any faster. <laughs> 20 seconds is 20 seconds. <laughs> and we're done. Nice. All right, guys. We're gonna take a breather for a second and then we'll do our homework. Yeah. Our homework is knee grabs, mountain climbers, and then our archer planks or push-ups. But we do it in a Tabata, we do it in a Tabata style again. So yeah, let's get about a minute of rest and then we'll go into that. Woo! For it just being tw um, two sets, those planks, man, they are, they're a killer, right? They're real good. I really, I love how acutely I feel my abs with the planks. A lot of people don't really dig the planks <laughs> very much, but man, that's good medicine for your bellies, right? Good medicine, good, good medicine for bikini season, right, Chris? <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. So again, for our homework, we're gonna be doing, again, Tabata style, just 20 seconds of each, 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. I don't care if you do cross body or regular, whatever feels better on your hips. And then you're either gonna do strict push-ups or you're gonna do your archer planks where your feet are out to the side. And then you bring your arm up, raking it across your body and back down again, all right? So you can start with whatever you want. What are you doing with it? What are you doing? So knee grabs here. I won't be able to come up. Got it. That's why. Got it. Jasmine's doing a different thing. That's fine. And we're going to start here in three, two. <laughs> Reba's ready to go. Reba's out of the gate. And we're going. <laughs> All right. Seven seconds left, guys. You got this. And with these knee grubs, you can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. All right, switching it out. I'm gonna do my archer planks. You can do push-ups, whatever you want. Two, one, go. Switching it out. I'm gonna do crossbody mountain climbers. It's easier on my hips. We got four seconds left. Two, one, go for it. Keeping those shoulders over those wrists. We got this, two, one. You guys, we did all the things. That was a lot. So for the people in the dojo, our nervous system is already pretty taxed because of how warm it is in here. So we're getting a little bit more of a workout than maybe people who are in air conditioning right now. I think this was good. <laughs> We've killed Reba, but maybe we can resuscitate her. <laughs> but guys, um, my, my friend Heather 
once taught me a really important lesson. And that was to find the joy in the moment. Try to find the joy in the moment. And that's what, that's what I'm trying to do right now in a stressful situation is just find those little bits of joy just to keep you going. And uh, God, that's like, I feel like one of the most important lessons in life, right? Is just to find that, those little sparkles of joy. Anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Yay.